It's absurd. The people of New Hampshire should be ashamed of themselves for doing that. Absolutely. On the morning of September 4th, in 2009, I looked out around the corner of my house and a couple of police cruisers, or actually SUVs, and some other vehicles pulled into the driveway. Uh, I walked out into the yard and uh, was met by uh, uh, one of the police officers who said, uh, we have a warrant. When we were outside, you know, he said to me, out of the earshot of the other police, I've got to stop doing doing this. You know, I, I got to get another job. Something to that effect. While he's taking his bulletproof vest off, he said, "You're a good guy." And I stepped closer to him and I said, "You're damn right, I'm a good guy. What you're doing is wrong." I know that well over 95% of people faced with my situation take the plea. That's what they want to do. They just want you to bow down, tell them that they're right, put your tail between your legs, and say, "Uncle, I almost did, but I can't." I feel like I'm a victim here. Uh, I've been victimized and so is my family, so have my friends. It's wrong what they're doing. Putting people like me in jail doesn't do a darn thing. Are they gonna correct me? I, I have my moral bearings. I, I know right from wrong. Can you take a picture with you? I love oh, you. Yeah, God, thank you. You were my man weed clause. That's right. They will lock peaceful people in cages, like uh, Weedaquas over here, as so affectionately named. He wasn't hurting anybody. He was growing a plant. Like, I don't understand how it matters to his neighbor whether he was growing tomatoes or pot or whether, you know, he's growing chives. I, I don't see it how it's how it's anybody else's business. Uh, it sounds a little bit troubling because uh, the reason for putting someone in a cage would be if they need to be removed from society because they're either a harm to others or uh, harm to themselves in some instances. But uh, in the case of Weeda Claus, it doesn't seem to be the case. Weeda Claus is a sweetie and he wouldn't hurt anybody and he hasn't hurt anybody, so let him go. I've spoken to Weeda Claus a couple times. I've, I've, I've never seen any, anything that would lead me to believe that he's harmed anyone. I don't think anybody should be put in a cage for growing a plant. I think it's ridiculous that they lock somebody in a cage for growing a plant or possessing a plant. It's insane. And it's truly disgraceful that people like this are getting shipped off to prison. Hands off weed and claws, hands off weed and claws. There's no criminal here. We drew some thoughts of what it's not as unsafe even as beer. Amateur farming isn't harming anyone notice me. Not in your face. Good folks